All right, guys. Sorry, uh, uh, I don't want to talk that loud because I don't want to um uh, wake up anyway. Anyways, in this video, we be sh we will show you how the air, air conditioner works. In case if you're not sure, so this is an uh uh it's kind of like the review, but it's a how-to of how the air conditioner works. You know, one of these window AC units central units like my room like when you control the the thermostat which is mounted to the wall and the window units will have a thermostat built into the um to the um unit anyways I'm gonna show you how the air conditioner works in case if you're not sure so here's the front of the unit and and right behind the front is the filter which catches any particles like any debris dust from getting into the uh, to the evaporator coil, and I think some of the years does they usually have a filter so we get maximum airflow. And and right behind the filter is the evaporator coil, which is a cooling coil, which is located on the front inside of your home. So the evaporator coil makes it cold, and the compressor, which is outside. Uh, pumps all of that freon, the refrigerant, into the evaporator coil. Oh, it just kicked on. The reason why it just turned on or not because I put it on in energy saver mode to so save my electric bill. So I'm gonna show you the why uh, why 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 put it on energy saver mode because compressor itself uses a lot of juice. Uh, makes it run, especially like when it went uh, when the compressor kicks on. Uh, the, sometimes the uh, the digital uh, display may dim just a little bit because compressors uses a lot of juice, you know. And and the compressor itself pumps all of that freon into the uh, condenser coil, which is located outside. And the um, condensation, uh, uh, the, there's uh, a slinger ring on the condenser fan blade, so it picks up all of that condensed co condensation water all the way down there to the outside, so it helps dissipate the heat. So, so, so once it, so, so once all the heat has removed. Uh, it, it would uh, it will uh, travel through the capillary copper tube, which is located uh, against the compressor, and, 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 and it travels through the evaporator coil, which is located behind the filter. So, so once it once it get, once it condenses into liquid, makes the coils ice cold, and you can see all that ice builds up. From the evaporator coil, and sucks the air in from the uh, from this return vent, and it pushes all that cold air from this it from this from this air vent, the intake vent, which just pulls all the air out, so it makes it cold, and so once it gets cold enough, it it will uh, travel back to the suction line into the compressor, and, and the cycle repeats. And starts all over and over and over and over again until you uh, turn it off or until the uh, desired temperature is reached. So it has a fan motor. It has a uh, this unit uses one motor for the uh, for the blower and for the condenser. And some of the units will have like a separated two motors. One for the guy, uh, one for the evaporator blower, and one for the condenser. So, so when you up, uh, so when you make the temperature go down, the compressor and the fan turns up. There goes the fan. Like I tell you, it uh, it turns on every three minutes uh, to uh, to let the sensor if if the temp is rising or, uh, or or it's going down just a little bit. See, see if cooling is needed, which, which is not needed because I set the temp on um, highest level. I just like to turn everything off, 
especially in my window unit, so you can see my electric bill. Because, the, like I tell you, the reason why when it gets too high, because the compressor itself uses a lot of juice, so it pulls a lot, a lot of amps. So this is an LG 6000 BTU air, air conditioner. You got, you got, they got different brands. Uh, besides LG, you got Frigidaire, um, Electrolux, GE. Um, uh, let's see, Carrier, um, um, let's see, Panasonic, Goldstar, Zenith, um, Ream, um, Amana, and Ream, Carrier, Bryant, Goodman, uh, Comfort Star, and let's see, Ruid. And um, I think just about all, all it. Sometimes you may have like a different brand. Like newer uh, units uh, have like a uh, electronic control. Um, which when you press the button it turns on. And the older units will have like a knob you turn for the uh, compressor. And the switch for the uh, fan speed and the power. I put some tape around here so nobody can mess around with the uh, with the control panel. So I was I was afraid of breaking it, but I just like to make sure everything is off. So so it will save my electric bill from getting too high and will make it last longer. Because the, the reason why uh, they turn it off to save the electric bill and make it last longer. Because all the uh, all the electrical components, like the compressor, the fan motor, the control board, all the uh, electrical mechanical stuff, can get really really hot and cause it to overheat and burn out and wear out over time. So, so because that's why the plug itself has like a uh, like a switch protector built into a light. Like like if the plug if the plug works really hard out uh, is working so hard and it starts to get really hot and overheat, it would trip over by a reset button. So like if the air conditioner is not coming on, uh, you check the plug for see if the reset button is tripped. And if it is tripped, uh, you press the reset button on the plug case, and and once and once you turn it on, it would it would do like a time delay for the compressor because it has a time delay. So, uh, like every three or I think five minutes or so, I think it has like a built-in timer for the compressor because so the so it helps you protect the compressor because compressors and air conditioners contains pistons and three uh, and three uh, springs. So. Uh, uh, it, it leaves the compressor off for three minutes to let it equalize the piston before the um, before the compressor kicks on or otherwise you can damage it and, and cause it to uh, to uh, ruin it which I don't want that to happen I just like to make sure um, usually for me I just like to let it wait for like a couple of minutes before to restart so it lets the compressor equalize just a little bit because anyways so here's the controls got energy saver cool fan and dry and yeah if you um if you know how these window air conditioners work please comment down below if you found this video helpful hit the subscribe button if you have it already and tap on the uh, notification bells and the tap the all button so you get uh, so you, so you get notified for all all of the new videos that are coming. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.